Welcome to The Journey. We're at Western Neon School of Art in Soto, and we have the executive director here today, Dylan. What's up, guys? And we're gonna talk about the business and nonprofit side of Western Neon today. So I read recently that the Western Neon School of Art opened the doors in 2018, which is super cool. I also noticed, speaking of opening doors, walking through doors, we're underneath the same building as Western Neon. So it all happens here. That's cool. How does that work for you as a creative director and executive director? Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, you know, and that's 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 what we kind of kind of love about it is that the stories are very entwined. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, Western Neon did start really as a school. Dean Blazik started it um, as a school in northern Wisconsin. Uh, in the 80s. Kind of, yeah, in the yeah. 80s, right, um, to teach people how to work in the medium. And his two sons got so... Um, you know, kind of like drawn into the medium and drawn mm -hmm. into the process throughout the history of that school that when they started the business, you know, we've been so successful as a business, we wanted to look back in 2018 and go, well, what, what made it that way, right? Mm -hmm. And it's that education, it's that commitment to the creativity. Mm -hmm. um, so we started the school as a way to give back to the community, to teach people about the medium and to see where we could take uh, something that has been so good to us, what could it do for maybe the rest of the world? People that come to Western Neon School of Art, are they coming in at all kinds of levels or are they? Yeah, you know, we, we get asked that quite a bit too because um, it's, it's kind of exciting that, you know, the school started with eight students in mm -hmm. the winter of 2018. We're coming mm -hmm. up on almost two years. Um, and since that time, we've put through almost 200 students Whoa. and we have a 500 person plus waiting list. We wow. have um, three classes operating a quarter at a time now. You know, it's become this thing that we never saw coming. We, if we look at who comes to us, right, it's really like we have, um, you know, tech people who are tired of being in front of the screen or just yeah. working in, an, in yeah. a digital way. They want to yeah. work physically. Um, you have artists who want to expand their practice. And then you have people who are just, you know, downright curious about what they can do with it. Yeah, what are, what are some of the, the things that you've learned most from opening that nonprofit uh, and kind of relating that back to the business world? Uh, with you. Oh, yeah, huge. I mean, I think that, um, you know, truly, I think if you do build it, they will come. I mean, it's a corny <laughs> thing, right? I mean, it's, it's a baseball Field of movie, dreams. You know, field of dreams, right? Kevin but, Costner. I, mean, I think that, you know, you can't achieve anything unless you dream it. At the end of the day, I think that what it's, what it's taught is that um, if you have a business going, there's certain choices that you'll make. And then with a nonprofit, they're not that different. It's just yeah. that something different drives kind of like what you're going for. And I think that that's cool to see it kind of come back and you know, show us that um, at the end of the day, it can prove that, you know, why do you love doing this? Mm -hmm. yep. Why do you love doing something that's really challenging? And, um, you know, it, it brings something back home that I think that only a journey can do in the first place, right? When you get back home, yeah. you right. kind of go like, oh, wow, like that's all the reasons why we did this. Yeah. You know? Opening the nonprofit in 2018, it's been around almost two years now. Have you seen that help your business at Western Neon at all? Yeah, I think it's really given um, uh, another voice to what we do as a business, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, I think when people come here, um, you know, we, 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 we do it because we love it. And I think right. when people come here, they can really see that like, there's a lot of passion in the business, you know? But when you come and see that we have a school that we're supporting too, and all the people that are, that are you know, benefiting from that, um, and we mm -hmm. all are, right? It creates yeah. right. a community on top of a community. Mm -hmm. um, and they, you know, they intermesh, they work together. Um, and I think that that really just, um, helps bring the best thing about the medium to the forefront, especially right. about neon. You know, it, it takes a group to do this. Mm -hmm. it's, it is a community to make this stuff happen. A couple of things you said too about like, who's coming to the Western Neon School of Art? And you said, you know, variety of people now, and maybe it's because they need that break from the day yeah, to day. Sure. And it reminds me a lot of when I contemplated doing improv, because they welcome people of all levels right. and from all backgrounds. And what I've heard from my friends, whether they're in a very professional, high stress career or not, whatever background, mm -hmm. they take improv, they meet all kinds of different people and they learn the skill set and they have a release. Totally. The most important thing about that, you know, you speak about improv, right? Is that you know, it's the idea that, you know, you're just gonna get out there and you're gonna see what happens and you're gonna adapt and you're gonna take like, you know, what, what's, what's happening in the environment you're in and you're gonna make something out of it. Mm -hmm. And I think that all those students that come to us from all those different backgrounds, mm -hmm. you know, we challenge them. We're like, hey, your first intro class, you're gonna get into this medium and we teach the history. We show them artists who are working with it, but we right. always awesome. kind of show them, you're gonna make a swiggle, you're gonna make a square, and you're gonna make a silhouette. That's what you're gonna do in this class. And yeah. so it's kind of some, you know, some, some guide, guidepost in there along that kind of pathway. 
Um, but you know how they get there is up to them, and, and yeah. what they do with it is always something where as soon as the, you know the fire's on and the glass is starting to move, mm. that is improv. You are kind of going like, oh, I got nowhere I'm kind of going, but yeah. you got to kind of move with it and see what it does. Now, obviously, you're super passionate about the nonprofit. Uh, would you recommend most small businesses go out and start their own nonprofit? Uh, only <laughs> that's a good if, question. Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, you know, um, only I'm if, inspired. Yeah, I think um, only if you're kind of willing to take on sort of a bizarro Superman version of your business, because okay. as, 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 as we came to find out, it was started as a project um, mm -hmm. and a, a way to kind of tap back into this community. Mm -hmm. um, we had like no idea what it would become and be so successful, which we're like very thankful for. Um, but yeah, it's become a thing onto itself. And so it's like, how do you then you know, manage a business and manage a nonprofit at the same time and give them that same amount of passion they deserve. Right. Um, but in the end, it's the, been the most rewarding thing we've ever done. So my mm -hmm. answer would be awesome. yes. You, you talked a lot about like jumping right in. It sometimes helps to start with a mentor to kind of sh take you along, basically be your Sherpa of, or your guide so that you don't get in over your head because it's, it's not just one job. I mean, owning, running a business is you wear many hats, now running a nonprofit, it's a lot of hats, right? and you don't sleep. So maybe find a mentor out there that, that can help you along the way that's already walked that path and hopefully avoid some of the mistakes that they've made because they'll teach you. One of my mentors is Lisa Schulte who owns Lights of Neon in LA. I mean, she's been in this business for a long time and she, mm -hmm. you know, she owns her own business. She is an artist onto herself and she works with the film industry quite a bit for what she does, you know, so cool. for, you know, looking for somebody that can kind of give you a bit of guidance and kind yeah. of get you steered in the right direction too is always important. Yeah. yeah, and I think just for sanity's sake too, cause it's, you're going head first, things are going a mile a minute. You, yeah. you sometimes need someone just bounce ideas off totally. of it, just, right. or just vent and talk too. Yeah, the venting is always important. Yeah. <laughs> you can go home, talk to your wife, <laughs> right. who's also an entrepreneur, but on she top is. of that, you have yeah. a mentor who's in your field and can maybe relate to some of the challenges. 100%. Oh, yeah, 100%. What? Oh my gosh, I went through this deal in. Yep. This is how I handled yep. it. Yeah, and you just roll with the punches and, uh, you know, get up. And because, you, you know, that's the point is you're doing something that's worthwhile, not just mm -hmm. because it feels good, but because it impacts people so positively. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm inspired and curious. So let's say I want to take a class at Western Neon School of Art. How do I do that? Can um, I do that? We, I've, of course, <laughs> uh, we would love to have you. Um, I need you to wade through about 500 people on a waiting list first. Oh, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's uh, it. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I mean, you know, like I said, we, we started right with these eight <laughs> students, and it's become this thing that um, now, um, if you want to come take a class with us, um, the intro class is the one for you. Um, please come and join us. Um, mm -hmm. Sign up on our uh, mailing list. It's on our website, wnsaseattle.org. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, or hit us on our Instagram. Um, oh, yeah. It's, it's a lot Great of fun Great Instagram, there. by um, the way. I love your Instagram. It's, thank you. It's really about the students, and that, and that's that's what's important. But yeah, that's 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 how you do it. And uh, just know that when we post the classes, we'll post like a whole quarter at once. Mm -hmm. um, in about four to six hours, it's gone. Ooh. You know? They go so fast, so hurry. You gotta yeah. you gotta get in. And then make it. sure you're added to the, the the newsletter, right? That way you know when the classes 100%. are posting. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, that's a wrap here at Western Neon School of Art. And please comment below what was the first neon sign that inspired you. If you guys love what you see here, please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned at every point, at every place, at every possibility. Yeah, and follow their newsletter. Thanks for watching. This is The Journey. We'll see you next time.